This problem is about eight individuals who are sitting around a circular table. These people are facing different directions while sitting on the table. So while some of them are facing the center of the table, some others are facing exactly the opposite direction. That is their backs are towards the center of the table. So they are facing away from the center of the table. Now my advice here for you would be to solve this question on your own first. Once you are done with solving the question, then proceed to our solution. The first step would be to make a structure like this. So that's a circular structure with eight positions to place people. Now in a question like this, you would want to proceed with some concrete statements. Since people here are facing different directions, the first person that you would want to place in this structure should have a definite direction. Look at statement 9. It tells us that Harsh is facing away from the center of the table. So if we have to proceed, a statement like this is generally considered good. We can put Harsh anywhere in the structure. So let's put Harsh here. Okay. Now look at statement 4. Phil is sitting to the immediate right of Harsh. So that's the position of Phil. Simple. Now try finding other statements that are connected to either Phil or Harsh. For example, statement 3. It says that Harsh is sitting third to the right of Krish. Now the important part to note here would be that the direction of Harsh is given with respect to the direction of Krish and not the other way round. And since we do not know in what direction is Krish facing, we will have to make two cases here. So let's do that first. Let's call this case 1 and this one case 2. Let's first put Harsh and Phil there. So that's Harsh and this is Phil. Now let's come back to the position of Krish. So this is one possibility where Krish would be facing outside, away from the center of the table. If you look at this, Harsh is at the third position, 1, 2 and 3. Let's put the other possibility in case 2. This would be the position of Krish and he would be facing inside, towards the center. Now look at the position of Harsh. One, two and three. So it is fine. Harsh is the third person to the right of Krish in both the cases. Let's proceed. You need to understand that whatever we do now on, we'll have to put in both the cases simultaneously. Look at statement two now. It says that exactly one person is sitting between Jack and Krish. If you look at case two first, there is only one possibility for Jack this position because this other one is occupied by Phil but if you look at case 1 there are two possibilities Jack can either occupy this place or this one so what we can do now is that make another case and call it case 3 let's first put the previous data in this structure so this is Harsh that's Phil and this is Krish Let's remove J from here and put here. So this becomes our case 3. I hope that's understood. So now we have got three parallel cases. Case 1, case 2 and case 3. Whatever we do now on, we'll have to try and put in all the three cases simultaneously. Let's proceed. In our next step, we'll look at statements 5 and 10 simultaneously. So this one and this one. 5 tells us that Krish and Gomes are not immediate neighbors. And 10 tells us that Mike is sitting second to the left of Gomes. So let's first try and use it in case 1. If this is Krish, this position cannot be occupied by Gomes and this cannot be occupied by Gomes. So the two possibilities for Gomes are this and this one. So let's first talk about this one. If Gomes is put here, as per statement 10, Mike should be sitting second to the left of Gomes. Now since we don't know the direction which Gomes is facing, there are again two possibilities. One is this and another is this one. But both of them are already occupied, one by Phil and the other by Krish. So it basically means that this cell cannot be occupied by Gomes. So that's incorrect. So the one left now would be this one. That's the only possibility for Gomes. So let's put Gomes here. 
I hope that's understood. We will proceed similarly in the rest of the two cases. Look at case 2. Since Krish is at this position, these two positions are ruled out for Gomes. Now look at this one. If we put Gomes here, the two possibilities for Mike would be either this cell or this cell. But both of them are again occupied, one by Phil and the other by Jack. It means that this is again not possible. So that basically means that the only possibility left for Gomes would be this cell. So let's write G here. Let's proceed to the third case now. The two cells that are ruled out for Gomes because of the position of Krish are these. Gomes cannot occupy these two cells. Now if we discuss this and place Gomes here, the two possibilities for Mike would be either this cell or this one. But these two are again occupied, one by Krish and the other by Phil. So that's also not possible. And the fourth one finally left for Gomes now would be this one. So that's where we need to place Gomes. Let's write G here. So this is it. This would be the final position of Gomes in case 3. So these are the three cases with Gomes placed in each of the cases. Now using statement 10, we can place Mike in these structures as well. Look at statement 10. It says that Mike is sitting second to the left of Gomes. So for example, if we take case 1, the only possible position for Mike would be this one. And if this is the position of Mike, then Gomes has to be facing towards the center of the structure. So this becomes the direction of Gomes. Likewise, in the second case, the position for Mike would be this one. If Mike is here and Mike is sitting second to the left of Gomes, then Gomes must be facing away from the center of the table, like this. So if Gomes is facing away from the center of the table, Jack would be towards his left and Mike would be the second person towards his left. So this is it. Now look at case 3. The position of Mike would be this one. And now Gomes would be facing towards the center of the table. Alright, so now we have got these three parallel structures with us. Look at statement 6 now. It says that Mike and Krish are facing different directions. So it means that if Mike is facing outside, Krish would be facing towards the center and vice versa. Look at case 1 now. Krish is facing outside. So Mike would be facing towards the center. Look at case 2. Krish is facing towards the center. So Mike would be facing outside. Like this. And look at case 3. Krish is facing outside. So Mike would be facing the center. Okay. Now if you look at these three structures, you would realize that Bob and Deepu, these are the two people that are not placed in any of the structures. So there are six people that are placed here and two are missing. They are Bob and Deepu. Look at statement 7. It says that Bob is sitting third to the left of Deepu. Look at case 1 now. Is it possible to place Bob and Deepu here? The two vacant positions are these. This one and this one. Now Bob and Deepu have to occupy these two positions. But in that case, statement 7 would be violated since Bob cannot be sitting third to the left of Deepu if these are the two positions available. So that means that case 1 is incorrect. It violates the conditions given in the question. So that's not possible. So we can rule out case 1. So now onward, we would not consider case 1 while putting in data into these structures. Look at statement 1 now. It says that Bob is an immediate neighbor of neither Gomes nor Jack. Look at case 3 now. The two vacant positions are these, this one and this one. Now we have to put Bob in one of these two positions. But the statement says that Bob cannot be a neighbor of either Gomes or Jack. This is Gomes here and that's Jack. So it means that if we place Bob in one of these two positions, he would become a neighbor of either Jack or Gomes. So this again violates the condition given in statement 1. What it means is that case 3 is also not possible. So that's also ruled out. And so case 2 has to be the final case. Let's use statement 1 in case 2. Since Bob is not a neighbor of Gomes or Jack, this is Gomes here. Bob cannot come in this position. So the only position left for Bob would be this one. 
सो लेट्स पुट बॉब हियर एंड नाउ सिंस द ओनली पर्सन लेफ्ट टू बी पुट इन द स्ट्रक्चर इज दीपू एंड देर इज जस्ट वन वेकेंट पोजिशन दीपू वुड नीड टू ऑक्यूपाई दिस पोजिशन दिस इज एट ओके लेट्स प्रोसीड लुक एट स्टेटमेंट सेवन वंस अगेन इट सेज दैट बॉब इज सिटिंग थर्ड टू द लेफ्ट ऑफ दीपू सो वी स्टिल डू नॉट नो द डायरेक्शन विच दीपू इज फेसिंग बट सिंस बॉब इज टोल्ड टू बी सिटिंग थर्ड टू द लेफ्ट ऑफ दीपू दीपू मस्ट बी फेसिंग द सेंटर ऑफ द टेबल लाइक दिस सो यू कैन चेक हियर वन टू थ्री सो इफ दीपू इज फेसिंग द सेंटर ऑफ द टेबल बॉब वुड बी एट द थर्ड पोजिशन टू इज लेफ्ट सो दैट्स ओके ओके लुक एट स्टेटमेंट एट नाउ इट सेज दैट दीपू फिल एंड बॉब आर फेसिंग द सेम डायरेक्शन सो आइदर ऑल ऑफ देम आर फेसिंग द सेंटर ऑफ द टेबल और ऑल ऑफ देम आर फेसिंग आउटसाइड नाउ वी ऑलरेडी नो दैट दीपू इज फेसिंग द सेंटर ऑफ द टेबल इट मीन्स दैट फिल एंड बॉब वुड ऑल्सो बी फेसिंग द सेंटर ऑफ द टेबल सो लेट्स डू दिस हियर राइट एंड नाउ दे इज जस्ट वन स्टेटमेंट लेफ्ट स्टेटमेंट इलेवन इट टेल्स अस दैट देर आर टू नेबर्स ऑफ माइक एंड वन ऑफ देम इज फेसिंग द सेंटर ऑफ द टेबल and the other is facing away from the table so we can see here this is the position of mike and the two neighbors are krish and jack krish can be already seen to be facing the center of the table so jack has to be facing away from the table so let's do something like this so now jack is facing away from the center of the table krish is facing inside and jack is facing outside so that satisfies the condition and now this is our final structure